We often talk about the importance of power to weight ratio when you're going up a climb, but just how much difference does it make if you lose a big chunk of your body weight? Well, Matt and I have come to Andorra on a real world climb. We're gonna do some real world powers with some different real world weights and see what the difference is. Yeah, it's some real GCN does science and the tests we're gonna carry out are as follows. We're gonna ride 5K of this climb, two runs each. The first run, we're gonna have a five kilogram rucksack on our backs. We're then gonna ride at set power. So I'm gonna ride at around 275 watts and Dan is gonna ride at 225 watts. We're then gonna have a little bit of a lie down to rest, recuperate and then do the run again, but this time without the rucksacks, but at the same given power. So 225 and 275 to see what the difference is. Both of us will be using PowerTap P1 pedals with PowerTap dual GPS plus head units to measure our wattage. My Canyon Ultimate, complete with full bottle, power meter, etc., comes in at 8.1 kilograms. My bag weighs 5.135, and I, including all my kit, come in at 74.4. That's a grand total for me on run one of 87.635. My bike, including a full bottle, camera, and power meter, weighs in at 8.385. My bag weighs in at 5.04. Me, with my full kit, helmet and shoes, weighs in at 75.1 kilograms, giving a grand total of 88.525 kilograms. So run number one, we've both got around five kilograms of weight in our respective rucksacks. Dan's gonna go off first because he's gonna be riding at slightly less watch than me at 225. Remember Dan, just go steady, it's not a race. I'll try and remember. Right, ready? Three, two, one. On your bar. Oh dear. Okay, so it's my run now. If you want to count me in, please, Nick. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see if I can clip in. He's in first time. Look at that. Tell you what, it's a bit warm. That's my lapse time. 230 watts, 25.56. So that's run number one done. I'm absolutely covered in sweat as you are, Dan. Uh, what was your time? Uh, 25.56, I averaged 230 watts in the end. I tried keeping to 225, but the gradients at the start are quite severe, aren't they? So yep. even in 36.28, especially with this rucksack on, I was struggling to keep down to 225. I saw your cadence was pretty low when it went past you. My time was 21 minutes and 41 seconds, and my average watts were 278. Well, I think before we even get to the conclusion about the weight, there's two things that we conclude already. We both just weighed ourselves, lost over 500 grams in sweat. So number one, keep hydrated, kids. Also, 278 watts versus 230, 48 watts difference. It doesn't sound huge. I guess it's over 20% still, but a four minute difference for 50 body, watts, roughly. Yeah, and and we're roughly the same weight all, yeah. all told, aren't we? So that's incredible how much difference it makes. Hashtag watts matter. Right, well Matt and I are now freshly hydrated to the point where we now weigh the same as we did for the start of run one. This is run two, obviously without the five kilograms of extra weight in the rucksacks. I'm really interested to see how much difference this is going to make, but yeah. firstly, I think you should give me two minutes this time. You caught me rather quickly. Go on then, two minutes it is. Right, are we ready? Three, two, one. He's off. Oh, it took me just as long to clip in as last time. Here we go. Three, two, one, off you go. Oh. Remember, it's not a race, Matt.
Okay, well, we've spent the last two hours with a calculator, we and we think we've got our head around the results. But before we get onto the raw numbers, we are going to state that we quite deliberately use that weight and also those powers. So there will be some of you who can do more than 280 watts for that sort of duration, and there will be others of you who can't do 230. But that kind of band doesn't, does encompass a lot of regular riders' power outputs. Yeah, and in relation to the five kilograms, it is actually quite a feasible amount of weight for many people to lose, especially when you look at me and you. I'm actually six kilograms or six or seven kilograms above my race weight. Yeah, I'm almost exactly five kilograms above where I raced back in my days at the Cervelo test team. Well, okay. enough, enough of that. <laughs> yeah, on to the results themselves. So my first run, 25 minutes and 56 seconds. My second, 24.40. So that is a saving of one minute and 16 seconds, which doesn't sound like a whole load, but if you wait on the side of the road for a minute and 16 seconds, it's quite a long time to hang about. Well, I, the difference in my runs was one minute and 33 seconds. My first run was 21.41, and my second run was 20.08. I did ride at two watts difference, but still a considerable time saving. Yeah, I didn't say actually, I did one watt more on the second run versus the first one. So, as you might have expected before we even started this video, losing some weight from your body does make a significant amount of difference on a climb. And this was just five kilometers at a gradient of around about 7%, albeit not steady all the way up. Just yeah. imagine if you did more. Yeah, over just 20 minutes of riding. Now, if you think about 150 kilometers sporty, for example, with 50 kilometers of climbing, it's faster for free by about It's a saving of around about a quarter of an hour. And that's just from losing the weight as well. Imagine if you also increased your FTP from 230 watts up to 280 watts whilst losing five kilograms. Then you would have saved on this climb close to five minutes. Dan, straight off the back of that, for a video on how to improve your FTP, how about clicking just up here? I've got another relevant video just down there is how to lose weight through cycling. Blimey. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the globe. I'm going to let you point to it because I never put it where I point. Don't forget to share and like this video as well.